Hey guys, it's Jay, the Cuban Angler here. Thank you so much for joining me today in this video that we're going to be shooting. We're going to be doing our first ever catch and cook video here in the channel. And for today's video, we're going to be having some tilapia, spotted tilapia, as well as some Mayan cichlids. Uh, and um, we're going to pan fry them and eat them up with a little bit of uh, homemade tartar sauce. So stay tuned. We're going to have some. Basically, there's very simple ingredients you're going to need to use. One is going to be mayonnaise. So just pick your favorite style of mayo. You could also use Miracle Whip. Um, this one is what I have in my fridge. I personally like this type of mayo, mayonnaise. So this is the one I'm going to be using. So just get mayonnaise. You're going to need some sweet relish. Also, you're going to need some black pepper. Some salt, onion powder, mustard, and half a lemon. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. Now keep in mind the measurements I'm going to be using are personally for my taste. So this could change as you, you know, for your taste, make sure you do it to your liking. But these are basically the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to get this half a lemon. I'm going to squeeze the juice out of it. And this would be a lot easier if you did not have some kind of cuts in your finger because the juice does sting like crazy. So once you've taken all the juice out of it, in this case I'm going to go ahead and take out the seeds. Okay. So now you have half, uh, half a lemon uh, squirted into the pot. So now that I have my lemon juice, I'm going to go ahead and add couple tablespoons or teaspoons of sweet relish and again guys this is all going to change based on your personal taste and preferences I'm just going to mix it all there so now the relish is in the um, in the lemon juice and now we're going to add the next ingredient so now we're going to go ahead and add about eh, three quarters of a cup to one cup of mayonnaise so let's start adding that in there. Okay. That seems about right. Okay. And to the mayo, just add a little bit of the mustard. Okay, and now basically what you're going to do is that you're going to mix it all together. Oh, actually before that, just put a little bit of onion powder just to taste. And some black pepper. And some salt to taste. And this is all by sight, guys. Alright, so now just uh, mix it all up. I like my tartar sauce with a lot of relish in it. Alright, so once you're done uh, stirring it all together, just put it in the fridge for about an hour. Like that, it'll really have a chance. 
chance to uh, to thicken up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it in the fridge for about an hour, let it thicken up, and by the time that we have our fish filleted and ready to fry and all that good stuff, the tartar sauce will be nice and ready. Okay, so now I'm gonna start preparing the egg wash that I'm going to be using to make sure that the breadcrumbs stick to the fish. So I'm getting three eggs, cracking them open, putting them in a nice bowl, and then with a spoon or a fork, I'm just going to start beating them together. So what I like to do to make it easier to fillet is that I like to personally take off the scales. So I'm going to descale it. Once I descale it, then I'll go ahead and uh, use the, um, then I'll co go ahead and cut out the fillet. So then that salad has already been done, it's been scaled already. So now I'm going to take out and do a Mayan cichlid. So the Mayan cichlid is the other one that we're going to do in this catching cook. Now with the Mayan cichlid, the scales are definitely thinner, so they're going to be easier to uh, to remove. You shouldn't have as hard time as with the um, tilapia. The tilapia scales are very, very thick as you can tell, as opposed to the Mayan cichlid, they're very small. So after filleting all the fish, they're all right here soaking in water, and now I'm going to go ahead and get them ready for the frying pan. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to get a fillet, dunk it in the, egg, in the egg wash, make sure it's very well covered with the breadcrumbs, and then separate it to the side when it's ready to go. So let's go ahead and do that. So like I said, now we're going to make sure it's wash, it washes in the egg wash. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, cover it with breadcrumbs. Make sure it's covered through and through. Shake off any excess. Put it on the side. Let's go again. Same process. Egg wash. breadcrumbs and rinse repeat So there it is, that's the final product, ready to go ahead and be pan fried. Okay, so we ran into our first issue. Just as I was getting ready to put the oil to fry the fish to lay, 
guess what? No oil. But doesn't matter. Three, two, one. Just like that, we have oil. Now let's wait for it to heat up and we'll start frying the fillet. Alright, so that's it. They're beginning to cook. Now we're going to give each side about three minutes. That small one's probably going to be a little bit less just because of the size. But on this big fillet right here, we're going to probably do about three minutes per side just to make sure they're nice and brown uh, before we start serving. So now it's just a waiting game. And we have all these fillets ready to be pan fried as well. So this is going to be some good eating, especially with that homemade tartar sauce, guys. We are going to enjoy this. I am so thrilled to actually taste this. homemade tartar sauce man that's gonna taste delicious can't wait just waiting for these last two to be all right guys so here's the final product I have two strips right here of the fish ready to go ready to eat I garnished it with two pieces of lemon of lime and then I put some tartar sauce right on the side to give it some extra zing so like I said this is a very simple recipe you could do this with any fish uh, the tartar sauce takes about 10 minutes to make if that and then all you need to do is make sure it cools in the fridge for about an hour to give it that creamy texture. Uh, the fish, the longest part for me was the um, filleting it and then of, co of course the frying it. But then again, I had eight fillets, so that does take a while to fry. Um, other than that, everything else is pretty simple. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do this recipe, please let me know in the comments below how to go. Uh, if you like the tilapia, if you like the cichlid, I find them to be pretty tasty. I've had them before. This is just my first time actually making a video about it. But again, I appreciate you guys for viewing. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.